Oh boy, the most sought after banner is here, finally here. It is the infamous Luna banner. The community, especially the Reddit community, is probably having a field day summoning for her. Let's join in on the fun, shall we? Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, someone already made my made me pay the dinner bill and didn't even let me take her home. Man, I should have told her it was for my self-esteem. Hey guys and welcome to another Epic 7 video with the psionic beluga. Man, I, I want whatever I was smoking when I made that YouTube video name or YouTube name. I swear to God, I don't know what, what that is. I'm gonna buy this ring right here. Uh, it has two good substats already, and the main stat is attack, and I really, really need a better. Right now, the one thing I'm lacking in some sort of category is the right side gears, especially, specifically the necklace and rings, since you can't really craft them or easily acquire them as much as the left side and the boots so I'm just gonna pray that this gives me the next two substats or percentages no flats by the way whatever I just bought right there if, if you guys probably are thinking to yourself you're dumb let me know because that could have been a waste of like over half a million gold, but let's see. First substat. Watch. Okay, good. <laughs> Effect resist, not the best, but no flat stats. That's all I'm asking for. That's good. 20% attack. I'll take this. Pretty good. 70 tier. I hope it's good, you know. <laughs> right side accessories are the only thing I'm missing. These are alright. I would prefer a better hit set gem for our, my Aramenta. This has one flat stat, but the main stat is good enough for me to take this on. And, uh, I, I don't even want to look at that. Okay, no. In terms of getting new heroes right now, especially since after using like, I don't know, hundreds and hundreds of bookmarks and not getting, to be honest, anything that I would use in my main team, the, the one thing I have look, to look forward to is the special change. For Hazel, I'm about 94 out of 150. I really want to get this done quick, so I'm... And, but I also don't want to waste all my energy, so I'm doing like a little bit of the middle hunts around Golem 7, Wyvern 7 sort of area. So I, I at least have some decent material from all the energy I'm using. For her, Lorena... Specialty change is for me like the most enjoyable because it's sort of a multitask specialty change because you can just grind all the event currencies and then have your urgent missions pop up through those and you're also killing all the monsters in the adventures at the same time. So, so much multitasking and I really like that. Hazel the magical test subjects I was able to do going to the the Shining Star event, which had a lot of magical test subjects, and I basically just grinded out the event currencies and that quest at the same time. For anyone that already unlocked Mascot Hazel, please let me know if she is really good as your prime, just your primary soul weaver. I would love to know that because 
I want to replace lots. And right now, for me, lots, his overtime healing is not clutch, so to say. As in, I'm probably dead by the time I get to activate my heals. And it's an overtime heal, so it's not really gonna save me immediately when uh, shit hits the fan, so to say, in raids and boss fights. And he has not a lot of cleansing. The potion itself, I feel like it's good, a good artifact, but the cleansing is not really efficient, and it's really chancy. I just had a Moonlight Summon recently. And, and I didn't even record it, but, you know, maybe I should have recorded it. Maybe the luck would have been a little better because I got... <clears throat> and I want to cry again. Like, okay. I'm going to go off on a little bit of a tangent here. Let me know if you any of you guys are watching an anime called Dororo. That is the... Uh, that came out recently in this season. I believe this is the spring anime season. Yo. Okay, spoiler alert if you don't want to know, but for those that watched up to episode 6, tell me you cried. You have to cry. Episode 6 was so sad. Mio, why? I knew that once she went to both camps, once she started working for both camps, I knew she was gonna die. Why do they have to do that, man? Like, obviously the show is good, but, and they can make you have the feeling of sadness, but I don't want that. Oh my God, why? Why, Mio? Oh my god, I'm so sad. Like, I mean, my calculus class is already making me sad. Watching that, like, in the middle of the night made me even sadder. I don't know how that's even possible, but... Apparently, she was death flag, and it was confirmed. So, yeah. By the way, the Guild War start times? It's not g great. I mean, I think for my guildmates, it's perfect. I feel like a lot of my guildmates don't live in the same time zone as me, but for my time zone, the Pacific time zone, the guild war starts at, for, for me, at 1 in the morning. Like, Last night, I tr I was hoping I can stay awake long enough for me to do the Guild War right away so I, I can actually contribute without having to fight like a lot harder enemies than I have to, but one in the morning is not great, especially since I pass out most of the time unless I'm watching a good show and yeah, even then I probably don't remember that the Guild War started. Which kind of sucks, to say the least. So right now, what I'm going to be doing is uh, more of the same in terms of why doing the hunts, doing the side missions, so I can get both the Commander Lorena specialty change and Mascot Hazel specialty change around the same time. That will be the two things I have looking forward to. I'm definitely not going to be summoning for a, a long time. As in, I'm going to try to hold my ground. Hold my ground. Until Diane. I feel like Diane is going to be where I use up my rank up pack. And all the crystals from the monthly packs I will save up to that point because I feel like that is the one hero I can't miss and I have to have at least the 120 summons guarantee point so I hope I can get to that point I feel like if I save up enough and 
hold my fire on the banners. I will get to that point. I feel like she's a character that is so good in so many situations that I have to get her. I'm gonna miss out on the Luna banner, but it's like, I, even if I had stuff to summon with, I probably would summon, but <laughs> I don't, so I have no choice. And I rather save up again. F in the chat for all the people that whiffed on the last few banners. If you have gotten any of the past banner characters that you wanted, great for you. Please give me a hug. <laughs> Other than that, right now I am just going to be getting the repetitive stuff out of the way. In terms of characters, I'm going to be investing a little bit in Sid. I whiffed on the Bologna banner, so right now I don't have any good Earth DPSs other than Silk. And since Sid is pretty good, I am going to invest in him. So anyway guys, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Usually I will have a video uploaded once a week. If not, maybe twice a week if I have <laughs> ideas for content. I feel like my next content might be based on the new game anthem so if you guys want to look forward to that please like this video and subscribe i appreciate all your all your support and yeah i will see you guys next time peace out